This is the Blue Yeti microphone and it's currently in omnidirectional mode and that means that it picks up sound in all directions around it and I'm recording this to give you the best um, indication I can about the level of background noise in this test. Um, the car engine is running, there's rain hitting the window, there are cars going past on the road and this is the radio in the background. There's a car going past. And that's just to give you an indication of the background noise in this test environment. This is the Logitech, the Logitech H650E. It's a nice little headset, quite comfortable, quite lightweight. I imagine that you could wear this for long periods of time without your ears getting sore, getting uncomfortable. I'm recording this test in my car. Uh, the car engine is running. There is traffic outside. Um, it's a stormy night in Scotland and the rain is uh, pattering off the window of the car. Um, the Logitech H650E is a noise cancelling microphone and I can see that when I'm not speaking it brings the volume down to almost zero. I'm now going to stick the radio on in the car to simulate some background noise. So it's interesting to see the extent to which the microphone picks up the background noise and how clearly my voice is still able to be heard. Okay, so I'm now testing the Jabra UC Voice 550 MS Duo. This is a very popular um, USB noise cancelling microphone headset. It was chosen by the Wirecutter as their top pick. Again, I'm in my car, it's raining outside. There's cars going by, there's one going past now. The engine's running. I just revved it, I don't know if you can hear that. Um, and I'll now turn the radio on again and see how that works. So, I'll talk over, I'll try and talk over the radio. Um, you can imagine that that's some background noise in an office and be interesting to see how it compares to the Logitech. So this is where things might start to get interesting. I'm still in my car, it's still raining, the engine's still running, there's still cars driving past, the rain's still hitting the roof. And I've switched now to the Blue Tiki from Blue Microphones. It's a USB microphone, so it's something quite different from the USB headsets. What's interesting about the, US, uh, the Blue Tiki is it has two modes, natural mode, which we're using now, um, and it's got a noise cancelling mode, which uh, I believe they call um, intelligent speech mode. And so the intelligent speech mode is a noise cancelling mode, and natural mode, which you're hearing now, is just normal mode with no noise cancelling. Um, the, the microphone's currently plugged in to my Microsoft Surface Pro computer and it's about a foot away from my voice which is quite different from the USB headsets which were um, about two, an inch or two inches away from my, my voice. So. I'm absolutely certain that at the moment, right now, you're hearing a lot more background noise than you were on the other microphones. This is now the Blue Tiki in its intelligent speech mode. Um, I'm finding it quite difficult to get this to work. When I, when I plug the Blue Tiki directly into my Surface Pro, with this amount of background noise, it was um, difficult to get the microphone to turn on. Uh, you see, the microphone mutes itself when 
it um it it detects that you're not speaking uh and even with the a distance of one foot between my voice and the microphone when it was plugged into the surface pro it wouldn't detect my voice with this amount of background noise so i hope you heard in the previous clip there was there's a lot of background noise there's the rain there's the engine noise there's the cars going by and um it just wouldn't work at all so the TK also comes with a little um, extension cable. So that's what I'm using now. It's the, the Tiki's in intelligent speech mode and I've used the little extension cable to to bring the microphone to around, say it's around 10 meters away from my voice. And I hope you can hear that sometimes the start of my sentences is getting cut off and that's happening uh, when the Tiki detects silence and mutes itself. There's a slight delay when I start speaking until it turns on again. The Tiki's um, finding this level of ambient noise quite difficult to handle. Now, let's suppose I bring it up to about an inch away from my, my mouth. And this is a similar location to where the microphones and the headsets are. And... It's quite loud. It's quite a hot mic. Um, hopefully the, the the audio quality is better than the headsets, but the cutting in and out might be a problem. And secondly, uh, at the moment I'm holding the Tiki, and I would need to build a little microphone stand. Uh, I might build a little microphone stand out of say maybe a a wire coat hanger. If you're not able to move so freely as you can with a USB headset, I'm just going to switch back to natural recording mode at this distance. So this is natural recording mode. So there's no noise cancelling on the microphone. And you're probably going to start to hear a lot more of that background noise. But it's a question of um, how bad a problem is this background noise when the microphone's so close. Do you really need a noise cancelling microphone? And I'll just be quiet again to allow you to hear the background noise. One of the benefits of a separate USB microphone is that I'm wearing my own headphones. Um, I have a pair of Samsung uh, reference headphones and they're over-ear headphones and the sound quality is much better than a USB headset. I could also wear earbuds. You can wear any headphones you like because you're using an external microphone. So if you're using, um, if you like to listen to a lot of music when you work and then you want to make a quick Skype call, you maybe don't want to be pulling out your USB headset and then putting away, getting your headphones out. And that's the benefit of a separate USB microphone. So, We've still got the Blue Tiki in natural recording mode. And whilst um, we don't have the cutting in and out problem, um, we've still got a lot of background noise. And the interesting thing is um, that there are ways to use software to remove that background noise. So you can still have uh, the flexibility of a USB microphone. You can get rid of the background noise. So you don't actually need the the noise the noise isolating mode the intelligent speech mode of the blue tiki so what i'm just doing right now as we speak i'm using my software to apply some effects So, that effect has now been applied. So th this is the Tiki, it's still in natural recording mode. And yet, the effect has now been applied. Hopefully you can hear that when, when I'm not speaking, the background noise is greatly reduced. So just in a minute, I'm now going to go and test the, the Blue Yeti microphone. And I'm going to use the same technique 
Um, the Yeti has its own stand. It's a desktop USB microphone. It um, is a really versatile microphone. And, well, it's not marketed as a microphone for Skype. Um, I believe, using the extra processing, that the Yeti might just make the best solution for Skype calls and noise cancelling. So this is back to the Blue Yeti microphone and I've got it set to the cardioid pattern. Now cardioid, um, unlike omnidirectional, uh, means it only picks up sound in one direction. The microphone is currently um, maybe 15 centimeters away from my voice and I'm still in the car and uh, still got all the background noise. Uh, all the same level of noise, all the same cars, the rain, the engine and uh, the radio, that's the radio going back on and so could it be that the a, a separate USB microphone like the Yeti is a better solution for Skype calls or voice over IP calls um, turning the radio back off so there's a bus going by so benefits of a separate microphone are you can use whatever headphones you like so I'm using my studio reference headphones uh, they're brilliant for listening to music I'm not carrying a separate headset in my luggage um, the microphone, the USB microphone is quite heavy um, but you can, if you want to, ditch the heavy metal stand and that leaves you having to um, come conjure up a makeshift microphone when you're on the move such as a coffee cup or a glass um, anything that you can prop the microphone up in and it'll still work um, and it'll be a lot lighter if you don't carry the metal stand with it um, so we still got all this background noise, so um, just out of interest, if you want, I mean, if I wanted to, I could move in even closer. That's me now, like an inch and a half away from the mic, uh, and you, this is a good, um, great microphone for doing YouTube videos or podcasting or anything like that. Um, if you're into recording music, it's great for acoustic guitars and all sorts of things. Um, it's a lot more versatile than a USB microphone. If you are on a Skype video call, um, you might be put off by um, having a big microphone in front of your face um, and you'd have to have it further away to keep it out of sight or not to be so obtrusive. But then you look like a bit of a, an idiot when you've got those um, USB headsets on anyway, so it's horses for courses as they say. Um, so the only thing left to do is to demonstrate the um, the software noise reduction in combination with the Blue Yeti microphone. Right, so this is the Blue Yeti microphone, um, an inch and a half away from my voice. It's got some noise uh, reduction applied, so hopefully you can hear the... Um, I've really cut out a lot of that background noise, the rain, the cars. I'm giving you some silence so that you can hear how much of that is getting through. So this is doing in software what the USB headsets are doing, but you're getting the added benefit of a really great sounding microphone, much better than the USB headsets. Um, You've got the benefit of being able to use your own headphones and uh, so if you're listening to music when you work you can have top-notch quality headphones, you can have acoustic noise cancelling headphones, um, you can have your Beats, you can have your earbuds, you can have whatever you like and uh, you can also have noise cancelling on your microphone that I think is a, a higher quality than you're achieving through the USB headsets. Um, it might be something that you, you don't want to do uh, if because it takes a bit of processing power to do it live. It's quite technical to set it up. 
you you need a little bit of you know um you need to not be a sca- not be scared of software and you need to be able to follow the little video that I'm going to make to show you how to do it but if you're up for all that and you want to spend a bit of money on a on a USB microphone then I believe that you can get a much higher quality for your Skype calls for your voice over IP calls using a separate USB microphone and your headphones um you can ditch the the headset with the the little the little dorky headsets you can ditch that you can have earbuds you can have whatever you like and um the world is your oyster now i suppose the last thing i should do is stick on the radio now i think the noise cancelling is probably not going to work so great in that Hmm, it might be might be quite good actually. <laughs> um so that's it, that's the test. I hope you found it um informative. I hope it helps you make a decision. If you like this blog post then please um share it. Facebook like it. Like it on Facebook or tweet it or whatever you kids are doing now. Spread the word. And um if you've got your own website, then create backlinks to the web page, and that'll be fantastic. And lastly, go to Amazon and buy something uh, via one of my. I uh, hope it's been a good test for you. And oh, what's the Bob Hoskins said? It's good to talk. It's good to talk. So talk without that background noise and communicate with your loved ones. Tell them you love them, and um, have fun. See you later.